everybody, Erica Sermon here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm going to show you today how to use the Sweet Songbirds stamp set with Coordinating Punch from the new 22 to 23 annual Stampin' Up! catalog. This is such a fun set. There are so many options with all the accessory stamps, and we're even going to make a little scene on the inside. Okay, well, let's make our little our little bird here on the front first. Um, this is a builder punch, which means it's gonna cut out all the pieces of the image that you need at once. So what you wanna do is line up your stamps perfectly on your block so you only have to stamp it once. So stamp your, or punch your image first from um, scrap paper, just scrap cardstock. We're gonna use the big bird and the um, little wing there. Got them in the negative space, and then I'm just gonna pick them up and pick them up like that. <laughs> My table is sticky. Didn't wanna pick them up, but now we've got them perfectly. All right, now we're gonna stamp the little bird in a Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna do that right on basic white cardstock. Now look at your punch, okay? The bird is at the bottom, so you wanna stamp that towards the bottom of your paper. All right, now let's punch them out. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we have um, our nest. We're gonna stamp our nest in soft suede. Unfortunately, there's no punch or die for this, so we'll just fussy cut it. Like that, soft suede on basic white. Grab your paper snips and just go around the outside edge, just kind of leaving a little bit of a white border. There we go. Now I have already cut out a stitched scallop rectangle and I'm gonna put this down with some Stampin' Dimensionals right here. And then we're gonna stamp his little feet right there like he is standing on that nest. And then we'll put our bird right there on his feet, like that. Now grab a mini dimensional for his little wing. Put that right there. Okay, well maybe that one isn't gonna be sticky. Let's try that again. Okay. Brand new sheet of dimensionals, you guys. There we go. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. There we go. Oh, and what did I forget? His eyes. I forgot to stamp his cute little eyes. Okay, let's see if I can do it without messing it up. There we go. Okay, good. Now, um, let's take a piece of polished pink and punch out his beak. All right. There we go. And we'll put that on with a tiny dot of glue right there. Grab your, take your pick tool. That's a really good way to pick up these tiny little pieces. All right, like that. While we have our glue here, let's put on a little flower right there. Like that. And okay, now here's a really cute accessory stamp that we have. It's the little music notes. Like he is singing a little song. We'll do that in Memento. Now I've already cut out this tiny cute little uh, stitched banner. This is from the Stylus Shape dies. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment welcome right in the middle in Starry Sky. Okay, let's put that on with a dimensional right there. All right, now let's grab our pearls and 
Well, we gotta take that off. We'll put a little pearl in the center of that flower, right there. Okay, so now let me introduce you to the colors that we're using. We have brand new in colors and this beautiful in color is called starry sky and it is just gorgeous i have a, a piece of basic white that is let's see if i can remember three and three fourths by five check my blog for the measurements i have a pdf there for you that is free and i don't want to quote the wrong measurements to you all right come on adhesive well i'm just struggling with my adhesive today very humid here maybe that's the problem all right we'll put that little strip there and then let's get some more dimensionals and we'll put our scalloped rectangle right there in the middle all right and then bring over our starry sky card front and how about four more dimensionals Yes, I love dimensionals. I do. They are my favorite adhesive. All right. Now, that's really cute, but what about the inside? Okay, well, let's make a little scene for the inside. See right here? We're going to get that branch, and we're going to stamp that cute little branch like that. And then we're going to get the little bird and we're going to stamp that, but you know what we need are the feet, and I don't think I got those feet out, so we'll get that right there, and let's see, where's a block that I can use right here, he's got to have some feet, and we're going to put those feet right there, now for our little bird, we'll do him in Daffodil Delight, right there, and let's bring back those little eyes that I just took off the block. And we'll give her, I think she's a her because she's got a flower, little eyes. Um, and then she's singing the little, the little tune of her friend in the front. And so we'll give her some music notes. And so we said on the front, welcome. So now we've got so happy you're here and we will use that beautiful starry sky again and put that right there and last but not least let's put a little flower in her hair i've got another um hydrangea this is from the hydrangea dyes and we'll put that on like that Let's see, get that to stick right there. All right, now this is gonna go on the inside of our card. So we'll do this flat with stamp and seal, no dimensionals now. And then last but not least, we need some twine. And our new in colors all have their own color twine. I am a twine addict. And I love twine, so I'm very, very happy to have these five colors with twine. And there you go. How cute is that card? Doesn't Starry Sky look beautiful with uh, Daffodil Delight? I think so. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.